Anyway, for me, agroecology is learning about the nature in ecology and how undisturbed ecosystem make sunlight into a product. But when talking agroecology, we we kind of look at that those ecosystems and transfer it into a product worth for the community. And that's what we do as farmers. We harvest sunlight and we turn it into a product. Uh, either we can eat it ourselves or some animals can eat it or we can feed it to the earthworms in the soil. But overall for me it's about learning from nature and apply it into being better as a farmer to transform sunlight into a product. Well, I guess the better you are at managing your on-farm ecosystems, the more and the better track you are keeping as a farmer on what's going on, which in the end definitely will benefit your business. And for me, that's what's really curious. It's learning about ecology, applying uh, the principles of ecology, because it makes the best out of the ecosystem and it makes the best and it would then make the best out of your business because as a farmer you're you're growing within the limits of ecology which is then the foundation of your business you can never you can never put the business on top of ecology because uh, the ecology is working for your business it's not your business working for ecology um, well so at the moment I'm um, I'm in a learning process. I'm studying and learning about rooting currently, uh, more particularly about cover crops. But um, the key thing and the key which has benefited me by studying at the university is learning about nature, learning about biology, and learning about how ecosystems work. And it has benefited me in the way that I look at, at my home farm, I've been better at looking at the small details. And uh, which advice would you give to young farmers? Because you are a young farmer and... Uh... I have um, two advices. One of them is travel the world. I've traveled the world myself and it has been an eye-opener. Because whatever you do at your home farm or in your home community, there will be somewhere in the world with similar conditions or way different conditions but we are farmers it's all about harvesting sunlight and you can definitely learn something from people far away and the further away you are the more potential of innovation you get because the longer away from your traditional way of looking at farming you can get the more innovative you will automatically be so that's that's the first um, advice. Get away as far away as possible and learn something. Be open-minded, see what's going on, and you will definitely learn something. You might think at the beginning, this has nothing to do with how we farm at home and how, how farming is at, at my the local community, but biology and the law of nature applies everywhere in this world, and it's certainly something you can learn from. It's just open your mind, be open-minded, and you will, yeah, you will learn something. That's my first advice. My second advice is education. Be curious about uh, nature. Open your minds. Pay attention to the small little things, because you can always drive a track to the rest of your life. You can only do education once. So, even though it might be more. It might be boring reading some books and you would prefer to be out in the fields and get your hands dirty. It will pay off. Um, just take the time, do some tractor work, return, and do more uh, studies because the more you learn, the more you will pay attention to the small. Um, I was more likely to consider a weed as a unwanted, uh, as a weed and I didn't want it there. Now, uh, I'm, I'm, ha I'm having learned when I've been growing my knowledge about ecology that a weed is just a plant out of place. It's, it's no different, it's just a, a plant, it's just at a spot it's by humans unwanted to be there. And what weeds, for example, really tells me, looking at from an agroecology perspective, is that it's, you can say it's biology, it's nature's way to say to me, hey, 
I'm not using enough sunlight. Those weeds are there as an opportunistic chance of harvesting some, some sunlight and put it into uh, biomass, into a potential product. So for me, it tells me I can do better. I can improve my farming business. I can be better at, at making the ecosystem work for me because when I've got weeds, I'm not efficient enough and I can do even better. So, so weeds has become a motivation for me to improve how I look at crop rotations and how I look at cropping because if the weeds are there, I can do better. I'm simply not getting enough out of the sun. Of all the small living beings of nature, which might be the big game changer for you and how you look at farming and how you want to improve and innovate the future of agriculture, I guess. Wow.